Hey everybody, this is Rosemary Jane and I have another Tech Talk tidbit. This is my one in the new series, Walk Through, Talk Through, Teacher Talks with Carrie McCarthy. Carrie, you want to introduce yourself? Yeah. Hi, Rosemary. I'm Carrie McCarthy. I teach um, social studies at Woodward Career Technical High School, uh, mostly American history. All right. Carrie, um, right before we sat down to record this, we were talking about um, why you are sharing this content with others and why it was important for you. Can you tell everybody a bit about why you're uh, sharing this information? Yeah, I have been a really big Schoology user um, since we adopted it. And one problem that I found is that I was having trouble using Schoology while trying to teach from home just because of kind of the different kind of devices that kids had. And I was trying to find ways to meet students uh, wherever I could. Uh, would need that a cell phone, an iPad, a computer, um, whether they were sharing a device or using a parent's device. I was just trying to find a way to give assignments that were easy for kids to access. So I was trying to figure out how to continue using Schoology. This is my American history um, quarter four assignment page and try to continue organizing it in a way that my students were very used to but also to make it a little bit more accessible for them. So one assignment that I use all the time, and it's a, an assignment I use in my classroom every year, um, are civil right learning stations. And these learning stations were going to be very hard to do from a distance without some of the um, more manipulative angles. So instead what I did is I was able to kind of transform this into uh, Google Forms. So I chunked the material um, into a couple of weeks worth of content. So this is the first of the assignments. And as you can see, I at the top, just because of accessibility issues with different kinds of devices and um, on phones, they, students can't always see everything embedded within an assignment, I kind of made some shortcuts up here at the top. Um, but I also kind of gave a short introduction and embedded the Google Forms into this assignment. So, and these, by the way, are all things that I have used in the past, these videos, reflection questions. This particular, on the third part to this assignment was about the Little Rock Nine. There's a clip that the kids can watch. And then what I typically do in my classroom is they do a photo analysis. And I just used Schoology and Google Forms to kind of give students the exact same assignment, just in a whole different format and they analyzed this picture and typed in their responses. I also created kind of the next week, kind of did the same thing with new events, putting, making sure to put the links very clearly at the top so they're easily accessible. Um, but the embedding of these forms is something that I do in my classroom all the time. I like embedding the form in Schoology because it just makes it kind of a good way to gather quick data, have Google Forms grades, kind of my assessment that I'm giving or my assignment that I'm giving, but it's giving it to the kids in a place that I house everything. Um, one, when you are embedding a Google Form um, and you are editing this assignment by kind of, kind of when you're creating an assignment, um, you don't use the same link that you do for the Google Form itself. As you notice, it shows up here as this yellow box. Um, in order to do that, you actually come up here to the insert content and you're going to actually kind of um, from the web insert media and you put in an embed code which is really easy to find in a google form so on a google form if you click on the gear of any google form you've made nope i apologize wrong place if you click on send um, you will notice that you have all these different options you have the link but you also have the embed code, which is already pre-made for you, and you just copy it, and that's what you're kind of inserting into your form. One other thing that I recognized as part of an accessibility issue was that I was at first just collecting email addresses from my students and very quickly realized that kids were sharing devices with siblings or relatives or, or parents, and I had to make sure to put their name on it, which I don't always do in the classroom because they're using their school devices and their school email. So I made sure to go back and edit my forms to put a place for their name so that I was, it was really clear who was completing the assignment. That's great. Um, some of the stuff that you shared was overcoming these barriers, especially at this time where we have kids who are maybe working off a cell phone 
or sharing their device. It could even be a student whose uh, parent is signed into their parent account and checking across multiple siblings. And by you adding this form link, it took away that barrier of needing to be logged into their student account, right? So they were- Yeah, yeah. So whatever student account they were logged into, it would collect it. And it didn't matter who they, I still had their name, so it worked out fine. Yeah. So it's for you, this was an adjustment. You sort of augmented the Schoology idea of using a quiz because you needed it to be accessible and not account based during COVID-19, right? But Correct. what I noticed that you said is you kept everything in Schoology so that it kept that predictable format for them. They knew where to go to get their information. Um, can you also share a little bit about um, what you, uh, told me earlier about what you did for when students were still missing work and how you still reach them with that content. Yeah, so I've had a lot of kids who in the last few weeks still had incompletes and I was really worried about um, them not having the chance to kind of improve their semester grade. So I created um, a list that I, I've both emailed out and put here under Schoology updates because I, and I made it so it was nice and colorful so they would see the different assignments. But I tried to create shortcuts that there are lots of ways you can complete these assignments. Um, the forms are really easy. They're probably the ones that I've had the most success in getting results back from. If you notice, I have forms all over the place. But even for assignments where they were doing hard copies, whether it be like their extended spring break assignment or a discussion board that's been really difficult for some kids to access kind of on whatever device they have, I told them just to, you know, send me a picture of it. Um, and that way they can um, get their get the grade still and it's no big deal. Like just take a picture, send it to me and I can grade it that way, even if they uh, don't have access to that particular part of Schoology. Yeah, so you had the option to submit a picture and we actually made a Tech Talk tidbit just for your students earlier this year. Yeah. So they can submit the picture in Schoology or send it to you another way that works for you. So yes. I think you've done such a great job of um, just being an example of how you're working to meet your students where they're at across whatever device they are using, even across accounts when necessary um, during this time. So we just really thank you for spotlighting this time. Uh, thanks for taking your time to walk through and talk through a little bit of what you've done. Carrie is one of the first in the district to obtain her CPS level one distinguished educator. And some of the things that she has put into this course clearly um, are demonstrating early evidence of uh, the fact that she'll move quickly through these levels. So I would count on seeing more to come from Carrie McCarthy um, it, by way of videos, or uh, she's also served as one of our district trainers in the past. So we are so thankful to have you share your expertise with everybody um, in these Tech Talk tidbit series. So thanks for your time, Carrie. No problem. All right. Have a good afternoon, evening, or morning, whatever time you're watching this. We're making this work for you. Thanks. Bye.